Kia ora and welcome to this video going through question 1a of the 2013 scholarship calculus exam. Um, if you are having trouble reading the question on the video, then the best thing to do is to go to the NZQA website and download the paper um, and have a look at the question in PDF form. So this question is all about a phenomenon called a Prince Rupert's drop, which is made by dripping molten glass into cold water. And a drop is shown in the picture in the exam paper here. So this thing here is what we're going to be working with. And um, there are some really interesting links that I've put on the next page about these, these things. It's, really, um, it's basically impossible to smash one of these creations unless you apply a little bit of pressure in the tail. But it doesn't matter how hard you whack the Prince Rupert's drop in this part here. Hmm, actually that's it's probably more like in this part here. Doesn't matter how hard you hit it, you can't break it. But in the tail, it's very susceptible to exploding. And I found a couple of really cool links at these. So that YouTube link is to a physics video where they um, manage to um, smash a Prince Rupert's drop very, very easily. And they do a time-lapse movie showing what happens. It's pretty cool. There's also a Wikipedia page there, so those of you who are into science will definitely want to go and have a look at those. But first of all, we'll do some maths. So, the model for the height of a drop, um, well it's really a, it's a volume of revolution. Now, most of you will have done these in level 3, but the idea is that this function here is going to give me the height um, but really, we've seen from the picture that we're really interested in this 3D thing. Now, if you're in my class, you will know how bad my drawing is. But for newcomers, welcome to my terrible drawing. So what we're going to want to do by the end of the question is to figure out a volume of solid of revolution. And you get stepped through that pretty carefully in the question. Um, but this function just gives me the height, so I'm working in two dimensions. And there's not really that much to the function. It is um, y is equal to the square root of phi, phi is the golden ratio, times e to the negative x minus e to the negative 2x. So not too nasty at all. And we're asked, where is the modelled drop the widest and how wide is it there? So we can see on the graph that we're looking for the exact x coordinate of that point there. And the width of the drop at that point will be twice the y coordinate there. So we're going to look for those two things. So it's just some straightforward differentiation. Right, so we've got y is equal to this phi times e to the negative x minus e to the negative 2x. Right, so we have a go now at maximizing this function. Remember what we're going to want to do is to um, find where the first derivative is equal to zero. So we can re rewrite y in this form. Here we go. And off we go. So on to the next slide, but stop the video at this point and go as far as you can. Um, you should be able to get right to the end. But just in case you need a hand, I've done the working on the next slide. Okay, so we get this. dy by dx is equal to the square root of phi times chain rule, one half of the inner function right, so that's the derivative of the outer function times the derivative of the inner function, so it's going to be plus 2e to the negative 2x. Okay, I haven't done the chain rule working in more detail than that um, at this level. That's all you should need. If you felt that that was tricky, you need to go back to your level 3 work and do some good revision on the chain rule. Okay, because that should be feeling like a pretty easy, easy thing to do. Uh, okay, so now we're going to write that out a bit better. And we get phi over 2 root e to the negative x minus e to the negative 2x. 
And on the on the numerator we have this. Okay, now that looks pretty hideous until you remember that all we have to do is to say where will it equal zero. And in a fraction, if we want something to equal zero, we just focus on the numerator. So it will equal zero when this is true. Right, we divide both sides through by the square root of phi, and we get 2 e to the negative 2x equals e to the negative x, or 2 over e to the 2x is equal to 1 over e to the x. Right, on to the next slide. Okay, so cross multiplying, 2e to the x is equal to e to the power of 2x. 2 is equal to e to the power of x. And x is equal to the natural log of 2. Okay, so now we've found the x coordinate, which is around about 0.6931 centimetres. But we're not done because we are asked how wide it should be. So remember that the thing, this is the function, but the actual width is going to be twice of that. Okay, so we're working in two dimensions, but the width is, you can think of the width as going right through the, the middle of the, of the drop. So we need to figure out the y value. So we're evaluating y is equal to square root of phi times e to the negative x minus e to the negative 2x. So y is equal to square root of phi times e to the negative log 2 minus e to the negative log, sorry, negative 2 log 2. Right, next slide. So that equals phi times e to the power of log of one half minus e to the power of the log of one quarter. So all I'm doing here, remember, is I'm just manipulating what we had using my log rules. The log of a to the power of b is equal to b times the log of a. So in year 12 you learnt these rules with logs to any base and what we're using here is of course the log to base e. So nothing too bad here at all. This simplifies to give me y equals the square root of phi times one half minus one quarter, which is equal to the square root of phi times the square root of one quarter, which is simply one over, sorry, root phi divided by two. Now the width is going to be twice that. So the width is 2 times that, which is the square root of the golden ratio, centimetres. So that's the end of that question there. So to keep this video not too long, I am going to do part B and C in a separate video. So that should be up shortly. Thanks for watching, and please leave me any comments below.